welcome to another CAD Dimensions Tech Tip. My name is Tom, and today I'll be talking about SOLIDWORKS electrical bills of material. I've completed my electrical project. I've drawn my schematic and documented my single line and multi-line uh, diagrams. And as I placed my symbols, I came in and assigned a manufactured part to each of these. So I have a Lagrange disconnect with a part number uh, of 005573. So I want to use that information that I've populated my bill of materials with and create an automatic bill of materials. The way I do that is I go to my project tab and into reports. And it'll show me a preview of the reports that I have access to in this document. So my bill of materials group by manufacturer is the report I'm looking for. I'll go ahead and hit generate drawings. We'll turn on our bill of materials group by manufacturer. I'll hit OK. And in the background, as I close out of here, you can see that I have two new documents inside my document tree. And these are my bill of materials. So right now, because I had a bill of materials group by manufacturer, I have each manufacturer alphabetically listed with the components that would be purchased from them. We also have a uh, quantity of each part that is used inside our schematic. What's nice about this bill of materials is that it goes uh, further than just our electrical components. It also has in there our mechanical components. So our steel door enclosure uh, gets located inside of here, as well as our, um, back in our other sheet, sheet, as well as our rails and ducts. So non-electrical components are still getting referenced inside our bill of materials. For this bill of materials, I wanted to make a change. So right now I'm listed based on my manufacturer, but I want to make a change to describe my uh, project based on their locations. So I have all these components that have been placed in multiple locations. I have my main electrical closet, which is my panel box and ducts and rails. I have my door components, which are my lights and switches, my chassis components, which are my disconnect and terminals, and then my pump location, which is external to my uh, panel box, but still has electrical components that I want to be able to wrap to in the future. So I'm going to re, uh, recreate my bill of materials, but it's going to be based on those location settings. And the way I do that is I don't have to delete my bill of materials, but I do have to come into configurations, again in my project tab. And go to my reports tab. From here, I can either duplicate or edit an existing uh, report. So for this one, I'm just going to go in my properties and edit it. Instead of being by manufacturer, I want this by location. And for my columns, uh, before my description column was very long, so the width was very long, so I can come in and change some properties there. And this allows me to organize my descriptions and organize uh, my references inside the report. Finally, under my sort and break tab, I want to not break on my uh, BOM, my bill of materials manufacturer. I actually want to break based on the component location ID and that ID description. So as I zoom in up top, you can see that my new title will be that location ID plus my description. I'll go ahead and hit apply. We'll close out of my report generator. And now, I'll double click this just to show you the change. I still have my old report. As soon as I right click and say update report drawings, it'll generate my new report based on those location IDs and the location descriptions. This was just a quick insight into how to generate and change reports inside of SOLIDWORKS Electrical. I hope you enjoyed this CAD Dimensions Tech Tip. Please check back in the future. Don't forget to check us out on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and our blog for more great content by clicking on the links in the description below.